guys, it's me, Wendy from Weeby Dolls, and I'm here with some babies in my collection, and these are my um, baby girl redheads. I do have a boy redhead in my collection as well, so I think that's five total, and so far. <laughs> and I uh, just, I had wanted to show you guys a comparison video when I made my um, Gabby Gale sculpt. I kind of wanted to do a comparison of her with the uh, Saskia and the Gertie sculpt so that you could see the size of her compared to them. So um, most of you, if you are, have you, if you've been a Reborn Doll collector for any length of time, you will know that this one here is the Saskia sculpt by Bonnie Brown. And I call her Shelby. Uh, she is, she is one of those dolls that I made as a custom for somebody else for actually My Little Tulip and she found her way back to me. Uh, my Little Tulip, Yvonne, had sold her to somebody else and then they sold her to me um, when, they were, when they were letting her go. I saw that she was up for sale and I thought, you know, this is one, this is my favorite Saskia I've ever made and um, I would really love to have her in my collection. And so it all worked out, she came back to me and I kept the name that Yvonne had given to her, which was Shelby, because this baby really reminds me of my grandmother. Um, my grandmother's maiden name was Selby, so it just it just seemed so perfect for her. Um, I don't have any, I've never seen any baby pictures of my grandmother, but this baby just it looks like her as an adult. <laughs> and so I just kind of think that it, to me, it really just reminds me of her a lot. Um, she has green, gray eyes and red hair, and it can go kind of straight, it can go kind of curly. I have it in my favorite classic little um, curly at the top right now, but uh, it can go down flat as well. So she's really a sweet baby. She's one of my favorite sculpts. I uh, love the Saskia sculpt. She's a big girl. Um, as you can see, she's got some chunky legs and chunky feet and uh, and then next to her we have Briella she is the Gertie sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles and these two could be sisters I swear they have a lot of similarities but of course they're different as well and this little girl um, I made to look as a portrait baby of my grand niece um, the first great grandchild would have been my grandmother's great-great-grandchild, or is my great-grandmother's great-great-grandchild, and the first one at that. So um, I thought that was kind of neat how they actually kind of look alike in, you know, um, the doll forms that I did them in. And in real life, um, my, great, my grandmother had red hair. Uh, of course, it's white now. She is turning 99 this year in September. But, um, and my grandniece has red hair. So um, that's pretty cool how it's gone down the generations like that. And yeah, so the Gertie sculpt and the Saskia sculpt both have a really a straight leg and a bent leg and they both have, um, they both have a pointy finger, <laughs> the opposite, the opposite hands. And whereas the Saskia has a, a closed fist, um, Gertie has a mostly closed fist, but her little pinky's sticking out right there. So that's those two. And then next to them, we have my Gabby Gale, and I have named her Winsley. Winsley Alice. I just fell in love with her. I was planning to sell her, and when I made her, I just couldn't let her go. So I, I kept her in my collection and called her Winsley. Um, she doesn't really look like anybody that I know. So out of these, out of these four babies that I'm showing you today, she is the only one who doesn't really resemble anyone in my family. Um, but she is so cute and so cuddly, and I think she is a very similar size to the Saskia and the Gertie um, as well. Uh, but she doesn't have a straight leg. She's got both legs are pretty, pretty. Uh, both legs have a bend to them. Um, they all kind of have similar size feet, but I think um, Gabby Gill has bigger feet than them. And she has both hands open. 
and she can hold things with both of her hands which I really love I love her I love her limbs so much and her gorgeous gorgeous lips so all of these babies have blue eyes except for my Saskia who has gray green and then we have this little one this one is the Susu sculpt by Natalie Blick. Now I had kept her when I first made her and then I sold her <laughs> and she came back to me quite quickly. Um, the lady who bought her um, just, you know, realized that wasn't the right doll for her. So she, we traded, we did a trade and she's back with me. And during the time that I had sold her, I had stumbled across an old photo of myself and um, when I saw that photo of myself, I was like, oh my goodness, she looks just, she, meaning me, has a baby, as a little girl, looks just like my Susu that I just sold. Why did I sell her? And I thought, oh, I should ask the my friend if she ever wants to sell her to, you know, check with me first if I would want her back. Well, I didn't do that. I just left it. And I thought, well, you know, I've sold her. That's it. It's, you know, the end. So... I just kind of like put it out of my mind but then a couple of days later she contacted me and said that she was you know considering to sell her and just wanted to know if I would want her back or if she, if I would be okay with her just going ahead and selling her and I said you know I kind of think I'm gonna I'm gonna want her back <laughs> so yeah so that kind of worked out really really well and she came back to me and uh now decided that she is going to be my portrait baby she i'll show you guys the photo that i'm talking about right here and yeah so she's officially my portrait baby and shelby is officially my grandma's portrait baby. Briella is officially my great niece, Briella's portrait baby. She's, she's just for fun. Maybe, maybe a future grandchild. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm still hoping, holding hope for a redheaded grandchild. It's a very slim possibility, but this one is officially me. So, um, she's not going anywhere. She is staying put and, uh, her hair is gorgeous. She has ri ringlet mohair but it is quite fiddly so it is a bit of work to keep up with and i'm kind of scared to sell her because i don't know if anyone <laughs> would, would be able to manage her hair but um anyhow uh, i wanted to tell you guys that i changed her name um originally i had named her primrose elowin but i could never remember the name primrose it just wasn't sticking for me and I see her as an Elowin. So she's Elowin, and I decided to give her the middle name Praise. So her name is Elowin Praise. And maybe I should tell you all of their middle names because hopefully I can remember them. Yes, I do. This is, uh, Win uh, sorry. <laughs> this is Shelby Juline. And Shelby, of course, I already told you guys was, is like, um, kind of after my grandmother's maiden name, Selby. And Juline is my two grandmother's first names put together. Um, one of my grandmother's name is Julia, and my other grandmother's name is Arlene, so Juline. So that's her middle name. And this is Briella and Briella Jean. Uh, Jean is my mom's name, so I thought it would be kind of nice to give her, um, since this is, the real Briella, the real live Briella, is my mom's first great grandchild. I thought it would be kind of nice to give the doll her middle name. And then this is Winsley Alice, and Winsley, I kind of did sort of like um, after me, you know, with the W name, uh, Wendy, and my middle name is Lee, so Winsley. And then Alice, I just really liked the name, so I it's a nice classic name that I thought would kind of anchor the little bit of a whimsical name of Winsley and yeah so she's Winsley Alice and then this is Elowin Praise and that is my redheaded girl collection <laughs> so far I know um I am expecting one more but that's all I'm gonna say um I'll tell you all about it when she gets here but um 
for now this is my little redheads um well actually actually faith has red hair um but she's a sleeping girl and she's smaller so i guess this is my big girl my big awake girl redheaded collection so faith is my very first reborn she is the serenity sculpt by laura lee eagles and uh i'll need to i need to bring out my sleeping babies and show you them one of these days soon i don't have very many but um all of the sleeping babies that i do have are by laura lee eagles and then of course my um silicone baby doll is also a redhead as well but she's kind of in a class of her own i only bring her out on her own she's my only silicone that I have and will probably ever have. Um, so yeah, she's kind of been a little bit neglected, I have to say, but she's safe. She's in the bassinet and it's covered with um, netting and everything to keep dust off of her. But I do go and dust and dust her with some powder once in a while, but I just haven't had time to really play with very many of my dolls at all. So I'm um, trying to get back into it a little bit here and there as much as I can, but it's hard. I have a large, large collection and um, I'm always busy either with my family or when I am doing dolly stuff, it's usually working on dolls for somebody else or myself. But um, I did recently create this one and keep her, so um Winsley she's so sweet I just I'm in love I'm in love with her it was an experience that I haven't had in a long long time with Reborns and it completely shocked me because I wasn't really that in love with the kit or the face or anything like that like it's cute but I was kind of like it wasn't like a kit that I was you know wanting and longing for it was just like oh this will be fun to paint I love I like the lips um, I wanted to see, it was the first time I'd ever seen a Claire Taylor sculpt in person and even though it's vinyl, like I've never seen a silicone Claire Taylor, I probably never will, but you know, I thought, well, at least I can see the sculpting, what her sculpting is like in vinyl and stuff like that, just to kind of, you know, get a feel for the sculptor or whatever. And then I was going to sell it. Um, but then when I, I put it together, just this feeling came over me that she has to stay here and I can't even explain it I just fell in love with her and uh, you know what S sometimes it just is what it is so I decided to kind of give in to that and keep her so <laughs> I don't know if I made another one if I would feel the same way so I, I don't know like it just really fell in love with her so she is a special girl but anyways guys it has been super busy here um you know we've been spending every minute we can at the lake at our camper and working on stuff there um we've built uh my husband built <laughs> i should say he built a deck and he's built um he redid the flooring of our gazebo so it has an all new um base i guess you call it it's basically like a deck but it's just the flooring of the of the gazebo um and he built a wood shed for us to pile our wood in and he built a shed well the shed that he built was kind of a like a a kit you can buy out of like i don't know it's kind of like a plastic rubbermaid type of shed and he built a playhouse for mira which i showed you guys a, a tour of i think in um one of my last last video or the video before I can't remember but recently I showed you guys a tour of it I didn't get a lot of views on it so if you haven't seen it it's really cute go you guys should go check it out I just love it I love the space um, I wish I was a kid again and can play in there but <laughs> um, it's really my husband built it and when I saw it I was like oh my goodness I didn't expect it to be so tall and he's like well you know she's she's 10 years old and she's she's growing and in case Shaylin, our 14 year old wants to go in there then it's tall enough for her because Shaylin's taller than me now and so yeah it's actually really good that he made it big um and not toddlerish size because they are growing and they can make use of it for a long long time so um yeah and then 
even Shaylin, I've caught her in there. You put the whole back wall as a chalkboard and uh, they love that. So it um, gives them a lot of room for creativity. They can play school in there. They can play, you know, house in there. They play cafe, um, restaurant, you know, put the menu on the board and stuff like that. So they're having lots of fun and uh, kind of makes her one of the popular girls in the campground because she has a cool playhouse. But <laughs> anyhow, guys, we have just been so busy and in spite of all that's been going on in the world, we are still enjoying and having a great summer. Um, actually going to be heading to see my parents this week. It has been months and months since I've seen them. And so it's high time. I've actually been like in pretty strict quarantine for the last two weeks just to make sure that I'm safe and good to go because um, the last, what I would call a kind of high risk thing that I've done was go to church and that was two weeks ago. So I said that I would quarantine for two weeks after attending church. And even though our church is um, maintaining social distancing and has very limited numbers that are they're allowing to come, um, it's still for like I still think it's a, a place where super spreading can happen because of everybody singing and everything like that. Although our pastor has asked everyone to wear masks unless they're you know on the platform then they don't have to because they're, you know, on the platform and stuff. But once that we go down to sit in our seat, we put our mask on and, you know, uh, all the chairs, you could sit with your family, but otherwise the chairs are all six feet apart. So, I mean, they're definitely taking measures to keep it as safe as possible. There's hand sanitizer everywhere and stuff. Um, when we do sing, we only use the one mic, you know, no sharing of mics allowed and stuff like that but um it's still i think it's still a little bit of a more high risk place <laughs> than you know when you're just passing someone in a store or whatever because you're passing someone quick um from what they're saying about the virus that staying in a building for a longer period of time is a higher risk of transmitting than just passing someone quickly um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's all just, it's all, it's all just such a strange new thing. Um, I feel much safer being outside when I am with people. So, um, when I do get to see my dad, it will be an outside visit and we're only allowed 30 minutes. So I'm kind of bummed about that, that I can't see him longer. And, you know, I can only see him once. They're only allowing one visit a week per client in the um, nursing home that he's in so that will be the one time I get to see him and then who knows when I'll get to see him again so I'm going to just make the most of it and you know hopefully hopefully have a good visit with him so anyways guys I just wanted to touch base with everybody and share my beautiful beautiful redheads <laughs> I was talking to my husband the other day about I think why the reason why I'm so obsessed with redheads is because when I was a kid I had red hair it's not so red anymore but it was quite red when I was little and I hated my hair I was like I hated it I hated how I looked I hated my skin I hated my freckles um, you know I wanted to be one of those girls I didn't even really care what color hair my hair was. I just didn't want it to be red and I wanted to have tanned skin, you know? But as I grew older and my hair started to lose its redness, I started to appreciate the beauty in red hair more and more and how unique it is and how um, rare it, it is for, their, for a natural redhead. Uh, of course, lots of people dye their hair red, but um, like, you know, how unique it is for people to have red hair so I began to appreciate it more and I wish that I had appreciated it more when I had it and uh, you know didn't think of myself as such an ugly ugly person but I think that part of creating these babies for me is just kind of therapeutic to remind myself that we are all beautiful in whatever skin that we are in uh, whatever color hair the Lord gives us when we're born is beautiful whatever color we are naturally is beautiful and we don't have to be 
wanting to be somebody else. We don't have to be wanting to be a different color. You know, I just see so many people. I go to a church that, um, our church is like, I would say probably 85% Filipinos. Our pastor is Filipino. It was started originally to be a Filipino church, but it very quickly became a multicultural church. We have um, a lot of different cultures attending our church. Uh, me being a white person, I'm actually quite rare in our church. Um, but I notice a lot of the Filipino ladies, they try to stay out of the sun. They try to cover because they don't want to get too dark. And then there's me who I want to get darker, but I only get redder <laughs> and I only get freckles. You know, it's just, it's like no matter what color skin that you have, you know, you're trying to change it. You're trying to get a tan or what color hair you have. You're trying to lighten it or trying to darken it or like, I don't know. I just think that we need to like learn to appreciate the way we are and not always be in such a hurry to change things about ourselves that are natural and pure and good and you know obviously if you're having character flaws or you're you know having things like anger and issues and jealousy and those things we want to change of course but you know the way we look we should learn to be happy in the skin that we're in and just be at peace with it and i think that's why i love creating redheads because it reminds me of that and how beautiful they are and you know Every color is beautiful. Every color skin and every color hair. Every color is beautiful. So that is my little lesson and reminder to myself. Every time I make a redheaded baby, it reminds me of that. And uh, <laughs> that's because, you know, I was born a redhead and a lot of my families are redhead. I have a lot of aunts that are redheads and um, cousins and stuff. So, <clears throat> It is what it is, and uh, I'm hoping one day to have a red-headed grandchild, but you never know. You never know. Um, anyhow, guys, I hope you all have a great day and um, a wonderful, I was going to say weekend, but it's Sunday. I'm so out of the, like, I don't know what day we're on. I hardly know what month we're in. Um, we just got back from the lake today, and I'm all out of it. I'm just out of... <laughs> We barely had Wi-Fi for the last three days, so it's like, uh, I just feel really out of the loop. But whatever day you're on when you watch this, I hope you have a good one. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.